This is Chuck Marfione from All Springs Nylon, and I'm here in Ben Lomond, California with Luthier Kenny Hill, and he's going to go through and explain uh, his signature guitar to you and exactly what his motivations were for developing it. Yeah, this is this is a pretty standard uh, signature model now, something that I've been developing and making for probably the last 15 years. Uh, it has evolved over time. Different uh, elements have crept in and other elements have crept out of what the, it is, I'd say. So starting from a standard guitar, like a Torres guitar, the differences uh, that this has. Uh, this is built with a double top. We can look at it later and see just what a double top really is, but uh, it's, a, it's a trend that has been in guitar making for the last tw about 20 years since I first heard of it. And I started experimenting with it well in around the year 2000. But double top, enough said with that, it actually is lattice braced. You, traditionally it would be fan braced and for a long time I did this guitar with fan bracing but I've gradually evolved into doing it with lattice brace. It's got the elevated fingerboard which does two things. Um, it, makes it, it makes it more accessible for playing in the high registers, players like that, but from an engineering or guitar design point of view, it pulls the strings when the fingerboard is elevated in this way, the strings pull on the top from a different angle, less parallel to the top, and essentially it has more dynamic uh, tug on the bridge, which is what moves the top, which is what moves the air, which is what you hear in the end. Um, also, this guitar, as most of my guitars do now, has sound ports. These ports, um, it was an idea originally from Robert Ruck, and um, uh, clear back in the 1990s, and uh, the first time I heard it, it was just, it was amazing how it brings the guitar to, it helps to bring it to life. It helps the, um, the, the sound ports change the dynamic of the air inside the instrument. So not only do you, do you get a more spherical sound from it, but um, I think it allows the top to move differently uh, because the, the ports essentially relieve the congestion of the air as it moves, sort of pulses through the sound hole, through the original sound hole, but it just makes that movement more complex and uh, free, so it loosens up the instrument in general. Now the guitars are all French polished, which is, um, it's a delicate finish, but it is one that bonds so beautifully with the wood that it becomes part of the sound. I, you'd never think that just uh, the, such a, a little detail as a thin film of finish would be so important to the sound and the, you know, the beauty of the the resonance of the instrument, but it is. <laughs> so that's what, um, now this is a random, you know, I've got a half a dozen signatures. We'll make them with cedar top, with spruce top. It could be made out of, uh, well, most of them are made out of Indian rosewood, um, although can work with Brazilian, could work with maple, uh, Madagascar rosewood, uh, Amazon, whatever there is. And, and the woods do make a difference in the sound, but you know, Indian rosewood with a spruce or a cedar double top is uh, a good standard. You can't can't go wrong.